the Tigger movie. One blustery fall morning, Tigger bounced happily through the hundred acre wood. Tigger bounced over to Winnie the Pooh's house. Want to go bouncing with me? asked Tigger. I would, replied Pooh, but I have to count my honey pots. Next, Tigger bounced into Piglet. He was busy collecting firewood and could not join Tigger either. So Tigger bounced all by himself until his bouncing pushed over a great big rock, which rolled down a hill and landed right on top of Eeyore's house. Eeyore's friends all rushed over to help. Rabbit designed a very complicated rock moving machine, but still the rock would not budge. Tigger had an idea. He could see that a big bounce would get Rabbit's rock moving machine moving. But Tigger's bounce made the machine move too fast. You ruin everything with your bouncing, said Rabbit angrily. But that's what Tiggers do best, said Tigger sadly. We can't bounce like Tiggers because we're not Tiggers, Pooh said softly. Roo followed Tigger away. Roo was the only one who liked Tiggers bouncing. If there were other Tiggers, we could all bounce morning, noon, and nighty night too, Tigger said. Tigger and Roo went to Owl to ask him how to find other Tiggers. To find one's family, Owl explained, one must find one's family tree. Tigger bounced over to his friends and asked if they had seen the Tigger family tree. No one had. Tigger's friends watched him bounce away with Roo in search of the Tigger family tree. Pooh decided that they should help their bouncy friend. After a long search, Tigger and Roo returned sadly to Tigger's house. They had not found any other Tiggers. As Roo tried to cheer Tigger with a terrific bounce, he landed with a crash in an open closet, where Tigger found a locket. It must have a picture of my Tigger family inside, cried Tigger. But the locket was empty. I found them, Eeyore said, leading Pooh and Piglet to a pond. He had found animals with stripes, and they were bouncy, but they weren't Tiggers. Pooh found some bees in the honey tree. They had stripes like Tigger, too. But when the bees started to chase Pooh, Piglet, and Eeyore, Pooh decided these aren't the right sort of Tiggers. Roo suggested that Tigger write a letter to his family. Tigger thought that was a Tiggerific idea and sat down to write. Tigger waited for an answer to his letter, but none came. Roo was worried. Kanga said, as long as we care for him, he will always be one of our family. Roo gathered Tigger's friends together. Roo wanted Owl to write a letter to Tigger, pretending to be from his family. Owl began the letter. Dear Tigger, just a note to say. Dress warmly, suggested Kanga. Eat well added Pooh. Stay safe and sound, said Piglet. Keep smiling, rumbled Eeyore. We're always there for you, said Roo. Owl finished the letter. Wishing you all the best. Signed, your family. Tigger showed off the letter from his family. They're coming to see me tomorrow. Where does it say that? asked Owl, surprised. Nowhere, said Tigger. With us Tiggers, you gotta read betwixt the lines. 
Rue decided that they would all pretend to be Tigger's family. Everyone put on their Tigger stripes and practiced bouncing. Tigger welcomed his newfound family. Let's all do what Tiggers do best, Tigger said. Bouncing! Rue tried another terrific bounce and crashed into the closet again. Rue's Tigger mask fell off, and Tigger discovered that everyone was only disguised as Tiggers. They're the Tigger family tree full of my real family, and I'm gonna find it, Tigger said as he stalked out the door. Rabbit, Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, and Roo all followed after Tigger into the whistling snow. In the woods, Tigger found a tree so grand and gleaming that it had to be the Tigger family tree. But no one was home, and Tigger sadly dropped his letter. Tigger's letter whooshed off in the wind and landed right in Roo's hand. He ran toward the giant tree with the others right behind him. What are you guys doing here? Tigger asked. We came to look for you, Rabbit explained. Tigger began to argue that he was waiting for his Tigger family when a rumble echoed through the valley. An avalanche was coming right at them. Tigger bounced everyone to safety in the grand tree, but the snow rolled Tigger toward a steep cliff. Rue tried his terrific bounce one more time and rescued Tigger. Taking a long look at Rue and his other friends, Tigger knew his family had been with him all along. The next day, Tigger gave a party for all his friends and gave Rue his heart-shaped locket. Now, oh, wait half a minute, Tigger cried. We need to take a family portrait to put in the locket. And that's exactly what they did. 